Hey guys, welcome back to another Mythic Legions action figure review. Today we're taking a look at Valak, another figure from the Ilithia series. On the back of the package we have new artwork from the Ilithia wave featuring Ilithia the vampire goddess. On the side we have another photo of Valak along with a short paragraph on the lore of the character. Mythic Legions come in collector friendly packaging, letting you remove the accessories and figure without having to tear the package open. With the return of Ilithia the Goddess of the Vampire Brood, new conquest plans begin to form and the very first scouts are trackers like Valak. A master of stealth and scouting, Valak is known as a tracker of the White Spine and is often considered an early warning of impending doom. Valak travels with his pet falcon Cinder, deploying him in the wilds to be his second eyes and ears. Valak is currently tasked with infiltrating the Kingdom of Xylonia to carve a clear path to Castle Silverhorn in order to lead Ilithia's army to its conquest. Let's take a look at the details. The pale wrinkled face of Valak is sculpted in an angry expression, bright white eyes and a bat shaped nose. Small yellow fangs reach out of his mouth while the head is covered in a purple hood with a cloth like texture in the sculpt. On the back of the head the hood has areas of a dirt effect painted on with more wrinkles in the sculpting giving it a cloth like appearance. A black leather tunic protects the chest secured by brown belt straps at the center dotted with silver studs in the armor. The cloth of the hood rests on this area sculpted in thick folds held in place by a purple buckle. The leather armor wraps around the back with the sockets usually seen here covered by the hooded robe accessory. The robe has more of that dirt effect painted onto the folds of the cloth. The cloth black shirt has a few wrinkles sculpting into it with a texture that resembles wool. A large seam is striped down the center to the elbows where the cloth is sculpted to be wrinkled. Glossy black leather gloves are seen on the wrist and hands of the figure with small brown belts strapping them into place. A few small silver studs can be seen dotted around the gloves. The waist has a few brown leather belts strapped onto the figure secured in the center by a large belt buckle. Underneath we can see the rest of the leather tunic hanging below dotted with more silver studs. On the back side we can see the straps wrapping all the way around the waist as well as some small pouches attached to them. Underneath the belts we have the thigh, sculpted in waves in the black cloth with that wool like texture. The armored legs have plates of dark steel armor protecting the knees with a dark glossy black metal underneath securing to the legs with brown leather belts. We wrap up the details of the figure with the boots. A cracked black leather texture can be seen on the boots with the small heel sculpted underneath it. Let's take a look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head but the large hood on the figure restricts a lot of movement in the area. Shoulders open and rotate all around. Elbows that bend inward and rotate. A rotating forearm. Wrists that bend up and down and rotate. A ball joint at the waist. Legs that open and bend forward and back with the tunic being soft enough to bend out of the way. Thighs that rotate. Knees that bend back and rotate. Ankles that rotate and bend up and down with a foot that twists. Let's take a look at the accessories. We get the bird companion Cinder in his own packaging. Posed with his wings open, the neck has a small joint letting you rotate the head. To install the falcon, you remove the hands and slide the gauntlet over the figure's forearm. You can then secure it into place by plugging the hand back in. The bird is a lightweight and doesn't add that much stress to the already bulky arm joint. We get a pair of small shoulder armor detailed with leather straps and decorations. The shoulders easily peg into the back sockets of the figure. We get a purple cloth cape with holes at the top to attach onto the shoulder armor pegs. It's made of a soft and stretchy fabric. To install the cape you slide the holes over the shoulder armor peg and then socket it into the back. The plastic robe accessory comes off of the figure and has no noticeable sockets or area to attach onto the figure. While the robe accessory does come pre-installed, it rests much better on top of the shoulder armor. After installing the cape, it all ties in together for a nice hooded effect. 
we get a glossy black elven style bow with a stretchy bowstring. A brown quiver with blue edges holding silver arrows. We get a single arrow in the same style as the quiver. And we get a gold and silver sword with its own brown sheath to cover it. Valak is some of Four Horsemen Studios finest work yet. Almost everything to this figure is new and unique, especially the falcon accessory he comes with. The new use of the leather armor really looks great in that black gloss paint and the dark armor making all the small details pop. The hood transitioning into a cloth is a nice effect, especially with the hood neck accessory tying it all together adding large wrinkles. The little falcon is a great piece that really sets this figure apart. With the joint of the head being able to be removed, I expect a few different versions to be released in the future. The way it attaches to the figure is really simple as well. I was expecting alternate arms when I first saw it, and I'm glad to see it's just a simple hand swap. With all the space on the back taken up by the hood sections, the sword sheath and quiver now attached to the belt piece sculpted onto the figure instead of those small belt accessories every figure used to come with. With the full set of bow equipment and the spare sword and the falcon, we have a ton of posing value on this figure. Valak is a must have for any Mythic Legions collector. An entirely new sculpt, the black leather armor in glossy black paint looks amazing and makes a unique looking vampire among the rest of them. The hooded parts transitioning into a cloth cape is a great idea and fits in well with the theme of the figure. Valak is definitely worth picking up. Tons of new parts to work with, a unique look to the vampires, you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for this figure in the next sale. Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other videos or leave a comment while you wait.